so weird right now. I wonder if Kylie Paul's face is like that when she's doing her makeup. Hello guys, so a really big welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing really, really good. So for today's video, I am doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. I recently did a Kim inspired one. I'll link that down below so you guys can have a look. If you wanna know how I got this look, then please keep watching. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look today. Um, I'll put the picture up here so you guys can have a look. But she recently posted it on her Instagram. It's very, very minimal on the eyes. That is a winged liner. Um, very, very blushed cheeks. Kylie always has that really gorgeous, overly blushed cheeks but i think it really suits her and i love that look at the minute um and also she's got a matte pink lip as well so yeah really excited to try this look out i did do a kim kardashian inspired look as well i'll link that down below so you guys can have a look but yeah let's get on with it i'm using nyx pencil in ash brown for the eyebrows i literally always use this i absolutely love it her brows look nice and filled in I basically have a monobrow right about now, which is fabulous. Um, yeah, God, I cannot wait to go to my eyebrow lady and get these threaded, but it is gonna hurt. Honestly, every time I get my eyebrows threaded, I always forget how much it hurts. And when I'm lying there, I'm like, oh my God, it's like these bits here. They literally hurt so much. But God, I'm so excited. So who has seen Kylie's new house? I saw it the other day and I want to self-isolate there. It literally looks insane. I do just love the Kardashians, I really do. Okay, so brows are done. I'm just going to set them in place with the Benefit Brow Setter. And then I'm just using the Tarte Shape. Tarte Shape Tape concealer and then i'm just pressing that on the eye i try not to do a really crazy carved out brow anymore um i just kind of prefer it so yeah i'm just popping that on the lid just to get rid of like any discoloration Okay, so for my first eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Toast Eyeshadow. I absolutely love this. And I'm just going to pop all of this in the crease. It literally looks like she's hardly got any eyeshadow on. I can see a little bit of like peachy, orangey pink in the inner corner bit. So I'm just going to add this first of all, just for a little bit of colour. And I'm blending it right up to the brow and buffing it out. I am just obsessed with all the Kardashians, full stop, and the makeup. I just think they always look fab. And it really pissed me off the other day how, um, you know, Kylie was seen out without makeup and oh my god, the friggin' press like literally acted as if she took a shit in the road or something. Like it was everywhere. Pictures of her. And then I feel like because that all happened, she then was posting loads of pictures of her like in loads of makeup. And then the next day there was all headlines of them comparing the two. It's just crazy. It's like, please compare any girl when we've literally got tracksuit on with our hair in a bun opposed to when we're full glam. Because we all look different. And literally made the biggest deal out of it. It was just insane. Okay, so we've just lightly put a wash of colour on the eyes. And then I am going to go into my Dull Sweet Treat palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this peach fun size colour, which is this peachy colour here. Only a tiny bit. I'm going to mix it actually with Chalk Drop as well. So this one and this one. Nice pinky peach shades. And I'm just going to add a bit of that. Just 
right into the inner corner. She might have it all across, and it is so hard to kind of tell from a photo exactly what they have, but in the picture, it definitely looks like it's just more in this inner corner part. So that is what we're gonna do. Kylie always plays around with colour, only slightly, which I like, so she might have a pop of colour in the inner corner or under the eye. Um, she's a lot more like playful with her makeup. And she's actually very good at her makeup herself. Like she's really, really good at doing it. It's so crazy, but I've actually never tried any of the Kylie Cosmetics. I do not even know why. I just don't know why. I think maybe because it's all like when it first came out, it was just always sold out. It was so hard to get your hands on. So I just kind of never bothered. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys have tried any of the makeup and what is good. Because I will actually buy some to try out. Because um, I really want to get some of her stuff. But she's got that much stuff. I just don't know what I should get. So yeah, if you guys have got anything from her collection, let me know what you'd recommend so i can see a little bit of inner corner highlight i'm going to use cookie from benefit just my little pencil brush i'm going to just do a little bit right in the inner corner okay and then now she has got a thin small little wing it doesn't seem to go all the way across it just seems to be on the outer part so what i like to do when i'm doing eyeliner is normally i always just do like a pencil liner i think it just one looks so much nicer um smokier it's more flattering but i do think she's got a gel on what i do do is i'll always trace it out to start with with a dark brown eyeshadow it's just a lot easier um it's easy to wipe away if you've got if you make a mistake um, and once you've kind of got that line there traced you can go over it with gel liner i just think it's a lot easier it saves you a lot of hassle as well cypress umber from the anastasia Beverly hills palette you can just use any eyeshadow go away always watches me <laughs> and i'm just gonna trace out the wing at the bottom So it is quite a small wing. Okay, so once you've traced it out with the eyeshadow, if you make any mistakes, it's so much easier to just take a wipe and clean it off rather than going in with like black gel. So now, once I've got that, I'm gonna go in with the black gel and I'm just using the Maybelline Last and Drama Gel Eyeliner. So you've kind of got your template now, so it's so easy to just go in and trace it. I know, her face is going to be so weird right now. I wonder if Kylie Paul's face is like that when she's doing makeup. These are the Dark Beauty Lashes in the style Chloe with a K. So we're keeping it Kardashian today. Okay, so for the rest of the eyes, uh, it doesn't look like she's got an eyeliner on. It's very minimal under the eyes. I can see some of that peachy shade. We're going to go in with like a nude liner so i'm gonna use this actually so i got this as a lip liner online um you would have seen in my makeup haul i'll link that down below if you haven't seen it but yeah i got this from morphe called fairy dust and it is so light like i will never use it as a lip liner but it's a really nice peachy really light nudie color so i don't know if it's gonna to be too much actually let's see really nudie kind of pink liner so i'm gonna just pop that all in the waterline i'm just gonna run some of that peachy shade that we use from the doll palette i'm just gonna run that under the eye really lightly like it doesn't look too intense i'm gonna pop on the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base I love this shit. So good. This, mm, guys, this is just amazing. This feels so rich. 
and creamy on the skin it smells beautiful i this is one of my favorite products at the minute oh it's so nice i'm gonna use a little bit of the mac strobe cream in peach lights another gorgeous product just bought some more of this as i'd run out but yeah i just apply this all over just gives you that really gorgeous, healthy looking glow to the skin. Do you know, I've never actually done the eyes where I've put like a colour or it darker in the inner corner. I'd always do it on the outer corner, but I actually really like it. It's a really, I don't know, it gives a really nice effect to the eye. So foundation today, I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. I did watch one of her YouTube videos and she uses, well in that video, she said it's one of her favourites, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I did use to use that, I really loved that foundation. Um, so yeah, I feel like I might purchase that again because it's so nice. So I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm blending that in. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Light Medium. I always feel like Kylie has quite a bright under eye. So, yeah, I'm going to pop this on and now. I'm going to pop on a little bit of a lighter one. So, yeah, just down the sides of the nose and under the eyes for head and chin. And then I'm going to take just a little flat brush just to go right up to that wing. And then I'm going to take, this is the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Oatmeal. And I'm just going to do a few little dabs of that just in the inner corner and then blend that all out with a beauty blender I feel like Kim's makeup is very contoured you know where Kylie I never feel like she has that much bronze it's always a lot more blush Oh god, I forgot I had done my under eyes. Oh, it's okay. We'll do them again. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of cream contour, nothing too much. And I'm going to use the glow, um, Born to Glow from NYX in the shade Cappuccino. I love this because it's not too intense and it blends out lovely. This is honestly one of my favourites at the minute. I just think this is brilliant. So yeah, Kylie doesn't really seem to have much blush on, um, much bronzer or anything. It's definitely a lot more blush. But I am just going to pop a little bit of cream contour on. And then now we're gonna bake because all the Kardashians love a bake. And talking of baking, I'm so excited because I'm making a lemon drizzle cake after this. So I'm gonna bake my face and then I'm gonna bake a cake. I'm so excited. And of course, the Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade cupcake. My fave ever. And we're just gonna pop that under the eyes I'm just going to bounce the excess on like the forehead and the chin 
Okay, so I'm going to go back and do the under eye with that peachy shade because, yeah, I was then stupid and wiped it all off. By the way, this was actually my first time using the Doll Sweet Treats. So I'm going to actually do a tutorial on this because I can't really say I've tested it. I've literally put one colour on. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to do a proper video on it. And then I'm going to pop some brown mascara. Highly inspired me to try the brown mascara thing and it really worked. But I prefer it so much more. And now even when I'm having like a no makeup day, I'll just do my moisturiser and stuff and I pop on a little bit of this brown mascara. And it just looks like I've had my lashes alveoled. It's so nice. So yeah. Love, love, love that. I'm just gonna dust this away. So Kylie has freckles and I've tried to keep this bit of my nose because I actually have quite a lot of freckles on my nose. They just get covered with makeup, which is annoying. So I actually really like my freckles. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out in the sun a little bit after this to help them come out more. But yeah, I've tried to leave as much makeup as I can off this area to try and have a few come through. So then for bronzer, I'm actually gonna use the Hoola bronzer um, because my favorite bronzer is the MAC Dark Tan. That's a very gorgeous, like warm bronzy look, which I love, but doesn't really look like she's got much bronzer on. So yeah, I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on cheeks. This is using my PC15 um, peach and cream brush. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on forehead and cheek. Cause I'd imagine she has got some bronzer on. I can kind of see it under the blush actually. But yeah, it's definitely more about the blush. I'm just really scared that I'm going to now look like a clown when I next do this step because Kylie can really pull off that crazy blusher look because there is a lot of blusher in that picture and now I just feel like I'm going to ruin it all. Again, her blusher looks quite matte. So I'm going to go in with my NARS Sarah Moon palette and this has got the blushes Sex Appeal, Elusive and Make Believe gonna take make believe i'm gonna i always just kind of mix all three i'm just gonna do that okay so i'm just gonna start to apply that i really wish this spot would go away it's ruining everything and then i'm just gonna take luminoso because i can see that on the very apples of her cheek it's kind of a bit pinkier so i'm just gonna do that this has got a little bit of glow to it do it like a clown guys <laughs> it's a little trick i always like to put a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose and forehead as well i really feel like it ties the look together so I'm just going to add a little bit more, get a bit brave now. But yeah, she always has a lot of blush on. So just a tiny bit more. I think we're done. So then on her lips, her lips do look very pinky. So... So I'm going to use... Uh, NYX Leon Lip Liner. One of my favourite lip liners, I love this. And then I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty Bombshell, which is a gorgeous liquid lip.
It doesn't look too intense, so I'm gonna kind of really tap that out. Then for in the center, I'm gonna add Tokyo Lip Cream from NYX. Just because her lips are quite pink. Yeah, I feel like that's better. And then for highlight, she has got highlight on her nose that I can see. I don't know about the size of the cheeks. Using a cookie. And I'm just gonna last minute add a bit more of blusher. So yeah, here we have the finished look. I'm really happy with how it turned out actually. I'm kind of getting used to the blush and I'm kind of liking it. I actually really like this look. I love the eyes. It's not something that I would ever normally do, but I actually really, really, really like it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other Kylie looks or any Kardashian inspired looks that you want me to do. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.